What's going on YouTube? So in today's video, I will discuss about how to create a Hyper-V VM using Quick Create. While this process is pretty straightforward, I will note key things during the creation process. If you're looking for steps for Windows 10 or for Windows 7, I will have alternative videos for those operating systems. And with that, let's begin. The first step we need to perform is that we need to right click on the Hyper-V server that we would like to create the VM and then we will select Quick Create on the pop-up menu. Inside of the menu, we will select the Linux distro and assign a custom name for that VM. Next, we'll press the button to create the VM. If we do not have the image, the Hyper-V will automatically start downloading the image. A VM would be automatically created with the minimum settings needed for the operating system. For this step, it's very important that you do not run the VM because you need to edit the settings to make sure the VM is configured as desired. When the VM is created at this point, the hard drive is only 10 gigabytes, and for most people, you want to expand that into either 100 gigs or 200 gigs, depending on what you're running on the VM. Once we have the desired settings, we will start the VM. When the VM is first created, we need to go through the steps to configure Linux. Now that Linux is fully configured, I recommend installing the application Gparted so that we can expand the main partition. And as usual, we should always make sure to run the Linux updates. And with that, that is how you create your Linux VM using Hyper-V and Quick Create. Some key things you want to note is that if you deleted your VM, you want to check the file system to make sure that the associated virtual hard drive is deleted only if that virtual hard drive is not being used within the other VMs or within the other services. And with that, that concludes this video. If you have any questions, comments, complaints, please leave them down below. And until then, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.